welcome back Tony from Tradcraft by Design okay I'm going to show you how to make this outer flower the big one okay, I do apologize for the noise and my children think it's appropriate to have a water fight while I do this video <laughs> so there you go okay so you've done your little one so with the big one so what we need is um, a sheet uh, 6x6 don't matter what colour Sheet for six by six. Okay, and what we do is we fold it in. Uh, did I do it this way? I'm sorry, this way. Fold it in a, like a triangle. I do apologise, I've done this one already, so I'd, I needed to uh, show you. So fold it in a triangle, yep. Yeah. Open it up and fold it the other way into a triangle, like so. Okay, open it up again, uh, pick a corner, it doesn't matter what corner you use and put it to the the center line that you've just done like so turn it round you do the same with that side so you end up with something like this okay now these corners want to be in to the center okay like so and the same with the other side like I say I've already done this one so this is why it's like it is okay so you should have something like this so turn, it, turn it over so I do apologize turn it over and bring it back on itself like so uh, the reason why I, I left this one till last is to show you because of the uh, white paper so when I you know when I say to you fold it over I don't mean fold it over like that Okay, fold it over the opposite way. Now there's some little bits here at the bottom. I won't worry too much about them. There's just where your corners was. Just rip them off like so. Okay, like that. Now then, what you do now is fold it. You can see the centre there. Just fold it like so. And just try and line it up the best you can. Yeah. If it if you do do this and, and you, it doesn't work one way, try it the other way. Okay. So we just mine was alright actually. Yeah. So you end up with something like this. Now, if you open it up a little bit, this side and this side want to be glued together. So I'm just gonna put. A little bit of glue. Oh, glue stick. Okay, so I'm just going to put a, a little bit of glue along there. Like so. And just close it up. Okay, that's the messy bit. I'm going to try and get like, I have done a very good job there, it's come out, but anyway, so when you, when they're glued together, you'll get something that looks like this, and if you open it a little bit, then you find that you have, you know, quite a few flowers, okay, so do another five of them, so you have six in all, okay, so you can pause this video now if you want to. Uh, while you do your uh, other six, I'm going to carry on with it, okay, because I have done another six. Uh, sorry, another five. So, okay, so once you've got them all, if you open them up a little bit, let's see, and what you do is you get another one and put them side by side, okay, and glue them together, okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there and I'm gonna put this yellow one on it you just squish them together when you've uh, done that just so the glue dries and then you end up with something like this you just keep going just glue in the sides until you've got your uh, round circle what you want okay, I'm gonna put 
the red one on there, I think. Okay, squish them together. What I did do was I actually did three together, like so, and then I put the other three together. Um, it was just a lot easier for me in the uh, in the long run. So I'll just put them two together. Line them up a little bit. So remember, you you're doing these sides, okay? Not above here, just up to here and down, you know. And then, you know, just putting them side by side. Really, that's all you're doing. Okay. Let's put this last one on. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll clip it to this one now. I don't want two yellows in the same place, so I'll just clip it to that one. This yellow one on, um, on the end. Okay. okay, now don't despair because when you are actually doing this, you think, Oh, I ain't got enough, I've got six on there, and I ain't got enough. You have because um, it's very, it rounds it off, it's very flexible. Move some of this out of the way. Very small workspace here, unfortunately, at the minute. Okay, so once they're all dry, you open it up, you will end up with something like this. Okay, and what you do is you just slowly, you don't have to go mad, just slowly get it round to your other end. Like so, like so, and now you know it's going to go. You can put a little bit of glue on the end and just glue them together. Okay, so you just keep hold of it for a, if you're using a hot gun, then keep hold of it for a minute while it just sets. But if not, you're using something else, then you have to keep hold of it obviously a bit more. What you could do, I suppose is if you're doing something else and you know you don't you could put a paper clip in just put a, a little paper clip in the back there to just hold them to while they're drying okay so when you're done your there's your big base of your flower okay now it does it's a bit uh, you have to push it down a little bit because it is obviously at the bottom you know. so get your little flower that you did it that we did earlier i did a multicolored ones so I thought I'll do a multicolored base as well. Now you can, I have seen people actually just with these on their own like this and they've put glitter and beads and um, you know sequins in them and made them just look like a flower. Uh, other people have put uh, stalks on them at the bottom and a couple of leaves and pushed it through the top there so it's a, a big sunflower uh, if you use all the yellow, uh, it doesn't very show up very well here. But this is actually yellow, uh, red. Then there's another yellow, a bit lighter, and uh, green, and a bit darker green. But they've just done things like that, and like I say, they put it on a stick um, and put some flowers on. You know, uh, some leaves on, should I say? And just used it like that. But we are doing this tutorial because that's what you asked me for. So put it in the middle. Find out where your middle is, of course. And so you're central. Alright, and then what you do is you just put some glue on your base here. Because right. obviously it'll stick to the flower. So just put some glue. Move out the way of the camera, it's the opposite way, I have to remember that. Just a round circle of glue, like so, and then before it dries, just set it where you want it and get inside that flower again so you can push it down. Don't push too mad, obviously, because you flatten the uh, flowers here. But, um, like I said, hot glue is great because it just sets you know, uh, pretty quick, okay? And there is. All done. The multicolored 
two flowers. Uh, I might put a little bit of, I, I don't know, I might leave this one like that or put a bit of uh, flower in it like I have done the others. But there you go. There's your big flower on your little flower tutorial. Thanks for watching. Uh, if there's anything else you know that you see that I've done, then uh, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing some more tutorials, no doubt, on uh, other things. <laughs> uh, so please subscribe and thanks for watching. I'll see you again.